Anna Duralia, exactly what is the, the phenomenon of a silent mind? We cannot imagine what our world would be like if we were to lose inner voice. It's really difficult to understand how somebody can function without an inner dialogue. For me, I am always thinking, and my thinking consists of words and images. I'm going to try and explain exactly what Anna Duralia is, and maybe try to portray some understanding behind the condition. Understanding the Phenomenon of a Silent Mind In the exploration of human consciousness and mental experiences, the phenomenon of Anna Duralia, characterized by the absence of an inner voice, presents a unique and intriguing subject. Anna Duralia can be described as a mental condition, where an individual does not experience an internal monologue or inner voice. This absence is not a result of auditory impairment, but rather a distinct cognitive profile. For many, the inner voice is a constant presence, a narrative stream that helps in processing thoughts, emotions, and experiences. In contrast, individuals with anaduralia experience thoughts as silent, abstract concepts, or through visual imagery, without the accompaniment of a spoken internal dialogue. Cognitive processing without an inner voice. The absence of an inner voice in anaduralia leads to a different approach to thinking and processing information. These individuals might rely more on visual or sensory representations of thought, or they may process information in a more conceptual, non-verbal manner. This divergence raises important questions about the nature of thought itself. Is language necessary for thinking, or is it merely one of many tools the human mind can use? Anna Duralia challenges the conventional notion that thinking is inherently verbal. Social and emotional implications. Socially and emotionally, Anna Duralia can have significant implications. The lack of an inner voice might affect how individuals with this condition reflect on their feelings, empathize with others, or interpret social cues. On one hand, it could lead to a more objective, less emotionally biased way of processing information. On the other, it might pose challenges in situations where verbal emotional processing is advantageous, such as in understanding and articulating one's feelings, or in scenarios demanding quick verbal responses. Anna Duralia, in educational and professional contexts. In educational and professional environments, understanding Anna Duralia is crucial for inclusivity and effective communication. Traditional learning and working methods often assume a verbal internal processing style. For individuals with anaduralia, alternative approaches that leverage visual or conceptual learning might be more effective. Recognizing and accommodating this diversity in cognitive processing is essential for creating environments where all individuals can thrive. Insights into human consciousness. Anaduralia offers valuable insights into the nature of consciousness and the diversity of human cognitive experiences. It challenges the assumption that a singular form of cognitive processing is universal. This condition underscores the complexity and variability of the human mind, highlighting the importance of understanding and respecting these differences in both academic research and everyday interactions. Conclusion Anna Duralia, characterized by the absence of an inner voice, is a compelling phenomenon that opens up new avenues for understanding human thought processes. It challenges traditional notions of cognition, emphasizing the diversity and complexity of the human mind. Recognizing and accommodating this condition in various aspects of life, from education to social interactions, not only benefits individuals with anaduralia, but also enriches our collective understanding of the myriad ways in which the human brain functions and experiences the world. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe. Please comment and let me know your experiences. Thank you for watching.